Hey what's going on guys my name is Abdul Kadir and welcome to my YouTube channel so in this video we're gonna build puppet game using HTML CSS and JavaScript this project is great for beginners who are looking to build their skills in web development so we are continuing our JavaScript project series if you are new to my YouTube channel make sure you subscribe so without wasting any time let's jump into the VS Code editor first of all we have to create the index.html file and then we have to create styles to CSS and then we have to create script.js so let me just give it title puppet game and then we have to link the script.js and inside this body we have to create a div and give it the id is equal to puppet and class equal to puppet so this is a container with the id is equal to puppet and class is equal to puppet which represents the game board the id is unique while the classes can be used for styling inside the main div there are multiple pieces divs each uh, containing several circles so div class equal to piece are this represents one set of pieces or bubbles in the puppet game uh, the class pieces group these items as game pieces while r stands for red so let me just style this body and give it a background color and let me just open with it live server oh i forgot to link the css so let me just link this css style structure and here we go so see let me close this one so inside each piece there are multiple circle days each representing a circular piece in the game so this is a single circle with the class circle and additional class r the r probably refers to the color red so let me just give it a background color and then we have to target the dot pieces display flex makes the pieces bubble inside the row uses flex box centers the bubble within the row horizontally overflow hidden then we have to for the body part justify dash content center height 100 viewport and then we have give it a margin zero now for puppet class uh, as two shadow effect for the 3d look both shadow a shadow on the bottom right with the black slightly transparent color and then we have shadowed on the top left with a white semi-transparent color for lighting effect and for width set the size of the game board to a square of 425 pixel by 425 pixel then we have a border radius 50% makes the game board circular overflow hidden ensures the content inside the container is clipped it if it overflows then we have display flex and align the child items in a vertical stack justify dash content center center the row vertically within the game board now we have to target this circle class cursor pointer changes the cursor to a pointer when hovering over the circle width uh, set the size of each circle to 14 percent of the viewport width maximum width 65 pixel limit the maximum size of each circle and then we have a transition adds a half second transition for any change in the circle styles then we have a box shadow creates an insert shadow that gives the circle a 3d pressed in appearance the shadow on the top left is white and on the bottom right is black and then we have a web kit removes the tab highlight color on touch devices for smoother interaction so web kit tab highlighter so 255 255 and then we have to now I'll copy this div uh, for other pieces and paste it here and change the class O and now we have to give it a 4 4 dot so we'll copy this and paste it here one more time and then we have to target the dot o and change the background color so 
so similarly we have to do for other pieces now copy this again and paste it here and change the class y and change the background color So let me just change the class G. We will start it later. First of all, we have to copy this again and paste it here and change the class for P. Then we have to copy this and paste it here. I'll change the class P. So HTML part is done now and now we have to change the background colors. So define different colors for different colored bubbles. So change the Y and give it a background color yellow. Then we have this green and we have to change the background color blue. And then we have to give it a background color purple. Right. And one more thing we have to copy this. Define a class that is applied when a circle is pressed. So basically it will re reverse the shadow effect when the circle is pressed to make it appear like it is pushed in, right? So now go to the script.js. Finally, we need to create a function in JavaScript. The JavaScript code adds interactivity by playing a sound. So const sound is equal to new audio, creates a new audio object and loads a sound file from the provided URL. This sound will be played when a bubble is clicked. So this variable stores the audio object when which can later be controlled, played, post. And the sound file is posted on external website. So puppet dot on click uh, this sets up an event listener for the click event on the puppet game board. When the user clicks anywhere uh, within the game, this function is triggered. So puppet uh, refers to the HTML element with the ID is equal to board, which is the main game container. And then we have the event object contains the information about the user interaction, including which specific element was clicked. And for the target uh, is the specific element that was clicked. The event or target property contains the reference to its element. And now for if not target or to circle return, this condition checks if this circle element target has the class circle meaning it's one of the bubbles. If the clicked element is not a bubble, the, the function exists return. This prevents any interaction if a known bubble part of the page is clicked, right? And then we have uh, sound.pose uh, stops any current sound that might be playing. Reset the audio playback position to the beginning and for play, start playing with the, the sound of from the beginning, right? So then we have to uh, navigator this checks if the device supports vibration. Uh, if vibration is supported, the device vibrates for 100 milliseconds when a bubble is clicked. And uh, for the pressed class, they toggle the pressed class on the clicked bubble target. Uh, for class list, or toggle adds the pressed class if it's not present or removes if it is the if it is present. Right? The, this trigger a visual chain like uh, the inset shadow as defined in the CS4 the dot pressed class. So this gives uh, this effect gives the appearance that the bubble has been pressed and popped up. So our project is now done, and now when we click it, we will hear a sound and it is pressed. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.